It was a common argument for weeks. The flu kills more people than coronavirus. Even the president has made it. He noted on Twitter earlier this month that the flu killed 37,000 Americans last year, far more deaths than have been reported by coronavirus. But new numbers from the Washington Department of Health reveal a sobering reality. Over the weekend, the state reported a total of 96 deaths related to the coronavirus. Flu deaths are reported weekly, and the latest count through March 14th totaled 86 deaths. Those are lab-confirmed deaths, and it is important to note that number is probably higher because of some people not being tested. Keep in mind, the flu season is trending down. They started tracking flu activity on September 30th, so we're talking months of activity. We don't know when exactly coronavirus started spreading, but the first case was not identified until late January. The first death was reported less than a month ago. We're not saying the flu isn't a big deal. The CDC estimates the flu kills between 12,000 and 61,000 people every year. But coronavirus is something new. There's no vaccine like with the flu. No treatment that's proven to work. And it could take longer for you to show symptoms, which could mean you spread it to more people. Then there's this. Doctors, nurses, and healthcare workers are ready for the flu, even on a bad year. But you throw in a new deadly virus on top of that, and it doesn't take much to overload the system. That's why health experts say social distancing is so important. If you stay home, fewer people will get sick. And then there's enough help to treat the ones who do. So initial data from the CDC suggests the coronavirus could hospitalize more people than the flu. But at this point, we can't say for sure because it's still not clear how many of the coronavirus cases are going unreported.